Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything. And I wanted to do a quick overview and more just the uh, shipping and purchasing experience of these uh, dumbbells. Let me see, these are balance form uh, rubber encased hex dumbbells. I bought these from walmart.com. Uh, I guess it depends, like right now, the cost of weight, I guess it's probably more around two uh, two dollars per pound. I've never been like a big, you know, equipment guy. I just like to have a set of dumbbells in my bedroom so that way you know I can just catch up on general hospital and do some curls or something of course but in the past I always used you know these more old school design and I was trying to find something like this and as far as I can tell at least in a, a larger weight you can't get these just I don't know if that's a powder coat on there but everything's pretty much uh, these rubber encased ones and I wanted to have a much uh, larger set instead of just getting a few incremental ones. So I went with the highest weight that I feel comfortable with, which would be uh, 40 pounds. I went to my local Walmart and they have their dumbbells on They had some look, I think they were the same thing with just a different, you know, tag on them. It was $72 just for one 40 pound. So when I liked the weight and the, the handle and everything, I looked uh, on Amazon, um, they have an Amazon Basics for like $54 for 40 pounds, free shipping. But I found these on Walmart's website for $101. So that's just a little over a dollar per pound, which is pretty good. Maybe you could get a better deal if you found something used. But aside from that, when you factor in shipping a product that's this heavy, I was pretty impressed with the price. And although these balance form dumbbells from Walmart had good reviews, they look again exactly the same as the ones on Amazon. In the Amazon reviews, a lot of them said that uh, this black rubber coating would stain. It would turn your hands black. You bumped on your clothes. It put black marks on it. So that was the first thing I checked when I got these. And uh, referring to when I got them, I probably should touch on the packaging. And uh, I didn't think to record it at the time because who really thinks of unboxing their dumbbells. But... This from Walmart came in two separate cardboard boxes and they were like uh, metal staples. So it was it was packaged from whoever made these. It wasn't in a Walmart box. Uh, it came FedEx, which everything I buy from my location anyway comes FedEx. So that's, I really preferred that. I don't think the post office can do more than 80 pounds. So they would have probably had to have shipped them individually. But if, again, if I bought it from Amazon, they would have been coming post office probably better that I had two people I saw bring the box up from a FedEx. The box was actually really well enforced. Uh, there was no tears or any big bulges in it or anything. Uh, the, the weights themselves had uh, a lot of styrofoam, like a flexible foam around them and were in bags. So everything was packaged really well. I was happy with that. And again, Walmart free shipping. So it was like $101 plus tax free shipping. Uh, you look, go on FedEx and look how much it costs to ship 80 pounds, a ton of money. I'm sure they have some type of, you know, discount since they're always supplying or, uh, for Walmart. But uh, that when you factor in that shipping, that's really a, a good price. But uh, sure enough, when I rubbed them, I was getting some, you know, black residue on my fingers. I don't think they weren't oiled. They probably put some oil on this rubber to keep it from drying or maybe just when it's formed, it's oily from nature. I don't know if that's a property of it, but uh, it was pretty bad. So what I did is I got just some de degreaser and I had to use a bunch of paper towels or you can use a rag. Took as much of it off to try and make it more matte. Still doing it. So, I mean, I spent probably an hour with the microfiber so I didn't have to keep going through paper towels and just dry, I kept rubbing it. Which, I mean, an awkward pause. But uh, you can see that they have more of a matte look now. And I went through and just tried to get until the rag quit coming up black. It took a while. Obviously, if you're in a gym or in a basement, it doesn't matter. But I'm setting these on carpet and just wearing, like, some indoor clothes. I didn't want to put marks in it. So I took the time to do it for these. If I bought a set or had a gym again, I'd never do that. But I just wanted to mention that's how I got it to where... They really don't rub off on your hand. See, maybe I got a little bit. But it's not, like, near what it was. And one thing I've always done in the past was put some uh, 
duct tape around this just for some grip. Now the ergonomics of these is just fine. I love the bolster in the middle, but the knurling was way too aggressive. It wasn't like defective or sharp, but just with that amount of weight, I could just feel it cutting into my hand a little bit too much. So I did just go ahead and put one thin uh, layer of duct tape. Just You can still almost feel that knurling a little bit, so you don't get that so much for the grip, but it made it a lot more comfortable. I mean, as far as fit and finish goes beyond just that, pretty, I guess, could be potentially a big problem if you don't want everything get all marked up and taking the time to correct it. And actually, like, the whole time that I was just, like, cleaning these up, all I could think about in my mind was just lightweight, yeah, buddy, and ain't nothing but a peanut. But, I mean, aside from that, I weighed them. I think they both came in at, like, 39.789.10. Though there was, like, maybe two or three ounces between one or two. So they were both 39 and a half, but they were a couple ounces off. I've seen reviews where people would complain, give it one star. I don't, maybe, I, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I don't think being like half an ounce under 40 is going to like ruin your workout or anything. Uh, if they were like both, like one was 41 and one was 39, I mean, maybe that would kind of be something you wouldn't want to be a little unbalanced, but Mine came out good. Now, that old 25 was, like, right on 25. So maybe because they factor in that they have to add this rubber, that it, there's some variance in that because it's not all solid uh, metal. But that's just my guess. But the fit and finish, I mean, they're holding up. You can see about how my hand, there is enough room. But you know, sometimes you can have a knuckle brush up against it, but I don't see a big deal. And one thing I noticed with this brand is a lot of them have the brand name, but this has the weight on both sides. But that's just, I mean, no big deal. And of course, to me, because of that rubber case, and they do look a lot bigger, I'm not sure because I don't have a set of just regular old style 40s to compare to. But I do think this rubber closure makes them look a little bigger than they need to. But I mean, you know, just c cover that weight show it on Instagram and I mean they're gonna think you're like the real deal so I'm happy with them the only thing I did notice is like if you ever like bump them together I have had a few little pieces of rubber like you might little a little scrape or it'll chunk off but not like huge pieces so if you're rough with them I maybe some rubber as long as they're not chunks falling off but again I think they're pretty good for a hundred dollars I'm not complaining I've had no problems with them since so I just wanted to make that video saying that that's the best price I could find to buy weights online. Uh, none, nothing feels loose or flimsy. Uh, they were packaged well. I'm happy with them. So again, these ones are called Balance Form uh, on Walmart.com. Let's see, they have, they're sold in pairs. They have 40 up to 45, says the 50's out of stock right now. So that that would be if you want to try these ones out. But I think they're again, they're all the same. To For me, it just comes down to price and these were the best with the free shipping i'm happy with them let me know if anything else but uh well not that much to talk about to just uh ship well and uh, i'm happy with what i have so thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one have a good one